Welcome everybody to another episode of the Art of Slowing Down podcast. It is your host here, Annalena. And as always, I'm so delighted that you are tuning in and are curious what I have to share today. So today I'm actually going to share a little bit about my own human design chart. I think you're going to enjoy this a lot. And I want to talk in particular a little bit about my journey, being a coach and what I do today, having my own business as a conscious introvert leader and highly sensitive person myself, because human design and also, of course, along with the Gene Keys has changed everything in such a beautiful way for me that I feel so grateful about. And it really has also helped me to find my own voice, because I think in today's world, you know, when I'm on social media, I pick up so many of other people's opinions and how we should be doing things. And especially in the beginning of my coaching journey, I invested so much money, like a lot, like several five figures, I want to say, into things that were like absolutely not aligned for me because they were these like really big promises. And I guess I was a little bit in a scarcity of like, I have to make this happen. I have to figure out the the magical secret, you know, that only some very few people know, but I still haven't figured it out. And so I felt like I was going in circles and circles for such a long time. And there were many times where I felt like it's not going to work. I'm going to throw in the towel. And even though like I was making money, because when you have a business, you got to make money, right? You have bills to pay and all these things. And then it kind of, it, it kept retracting again. And there were several times sometimes where I was like, okay, I don't know if this is going to be sustainable. And it was really from that moment when human design came that I had such a big relief and I could literally feel this in all the cells in my body. Like it almost felt like something within me was activated. And I finally realized that, Annalena, all the answers you have been looking for, like you have to stop chasing it on the outside. You have to look at yourself. Yeah, and human design and the gene keys is this beautiful I like to almost call it like a mirror it's like this okay this is who you are and it helps you remember that because I think so many of us we have forgotten who we really are and we're trying to fit in into all these other ideas opinions systems way of doing things and we're really missing out on the magic of our unique path because that's the beauty of human design is that it's called the signs of differentiation, right? We are all supposed to be different. So maybe that helps you remember next time when you hear somebody say, I'll share with you the one way that you can have X, Y, Z or to make X, Y, Z happen or that is the success strategy. And it's almost like a pandemic, but people are like, let me show you how I did it. And I'm in this, my whole body is like, I have zero interest to know how you did achieve this particular thing or made six figures or seven figures or whatever, because that's your path and that's awesome. I'm going to celebrate the heck out of you. But I start to believe or think that my path has to be the same. And if that's not aligned for me, it's going to be really hard and it's going to feel very unaligned. I think with a lot of push and force, we can um, make things happen to some extent, but I, I really believe it's never really sustainable. So it's just a little bit of a backstory. And now I am going to share my beautiful human design chart. So some of you may already know. And if it's the first time, welcome. This is my chart. And again, if you are listening on the regular podcast, I do invite you to hop over to either my Instagram. You will be able to pull my chart there, probably for the most recent Instagram post. Or you can hop over to the YouTube episode as well. But I will also explain with words what my chart looks like. So I am a 2-4 manifesting generator with sacred authority. I have undefined centers as my head and Ajna. I have a completely open solar plexus center. That always means that not a single gate is defined. And I have an undefined root center. And all the other centers, like my spleen, my sacral, my G center, my will center, and my throat center, they are all defined. And one of the things that I want to talk in particular about, also because just to give you a heads up, I have an amazing masterclass or workshop come up, which is going to be 
uh, about your authentic voice. And I want to share with you a little bit about how I have found my authentic voice through human design to give you kind of an example. And obviously, it's also going to be an invitation for anybody that's interested to come join us. It's happening this week on December the 14th, 2023. And all the details will be in the show notes. But rest assured, I'll share a little bit more about it along this beautiful episode. So first, I was so relieved when I learned that I'm a 2-4 profile because I always was like, I'm way too introverted. I'm not made for this online space. But then when I was around the right people, I can be actually very bubbly. And like right now, I feel like I'm talking to my people and I can be actually very extrovert. And the two four profile is exactly that. The two line needs to hammer it away. I need a lot of alone time. I like to study, do my stuff. And then I get called out from my network, from my people. And when I'm around the right kind of people, it doesn't really have to be the strangers, more like people I know or people that I know through people that I know, <laughs> you know, my kind of extended network, then I'm actually very extrovert, you know? But if you ask me, I see myself more as the introvert. And that's also because the the two is my conscious profile line. So the first number in your profile, I'm a two, four profile, right? And that also helped me so much in my business because I always learned that you have to reach out to people, right? You have to be proactive and make things happen. And the way that the two, four profile works is actually that... I almost create like an energy vortex when I am just doing the things that light me up, that I enjoy, and I'm kind of quiet doing my stuff. And people start to get curious and I get I get invited left and right. So if you have heard about the projector in human design and this thing about recognition and invitation, the two for profile behaves very similar to that. That's one of the reasons why I relate so much to what we learn and teach about the projector type in human design as well so that's just a little bit about my profile but what I want to talk about in particular is my my voice yeah and obviously if you have a defined throat center or an undefined throat center we're all here to speak and communicate our authentic voice when you have a defined throat center like me the throat energy is something that wants to consistently be expressed and it's an energy that I'm here to put out into the world. And what happens is that, especially when we are young, usually we kind of learn oftentimes if we're being too much, because as a, as a child, I was very clear about what I wanted, for example. You know, I like the finer things in life. I like to play tennis. I like to travel and I also I like to work and make money and buy stuff for that like I was I love the materialistic realm and somehow I learned through some things that were happening when I was growing up that I just cared about the money and I was just way too materialistic and I shouldn't like those kind of things so I suppressed that side of myself right and I felt wrong for for loving money and when I started to become an entrepreneur, obviously it's important to talk about money. It's important to think about money. It's important to make money and all these kind of things, right? The materialistic realm is something that is just very important. And what I learned through human design is that this channel that I have in my chart, that's the only channel that I have connected to my throat center. So it's the 2145 channel. It's called the money channel. And just to give you a heads up, having this channel is not a guarantee to be born or become a millionaire. Um, I think that is something we all have access to if that is aligned for us and if that's our unique path. But people often think that they have to have this energy in their chart to be able to make money or if they don't have it, that they are not able to make money and nothing is further from the truth. Um, what I have found is that, so for me, how this is connected with money in particular, and also how money flows into my life is when I can fully allow this energy to come out of me unfiltered. And this energy is all about talking about what I want. It's about also the actual distribution of resources. It's about community. It's a, it's a tribal energy. It's in the tribal circuitry of the human design chart. And it's also about managing resources. So it's in a way like spending the money 
that's more also the 45 and distributing the money, but in a fair and equitable way in the higher expression. And the 21 is more, we call it the treasurer, you know, where you look at the finances and you're being more responsible with it. You know, it's, it's kind of a nice, nice balance with that. And it comes from willpower. So people that have this 2145 channel defined, like me, uh, we like to talk about ourselves. <laughs> and I have to say that when I first started my coaching journey, I actually intentionally tried not to talk a lot about myself because I learned many times in coaching programs that you should always talk about the client, not about yourself, right? That's very egotistical. And I tried it. And obviously I, I do talk a lot also about, you know, other people and you, my listeners, my clients, my audience, my supporters, my fans, my friends, my family. But there is a part of me that wants to share about me and that wants to use the word I. And what I have learned over time when I actually allow myself to do this is that people get very inspired, especially when I allow myself to share stories. And oftentimes, so this is my conscious son is the gate 13, which is called the listener. And it's all about storytelling. And I love, love, love to tell stories. And these stories really are here. It's a, it's a, in the collective circuitry to serve humanity in some way. So when I'm sharing stories, you know, for example, when I'm sharing the story that when I first started to become a coach and I always was searching for the answers on the outside, I burned a lot of money. I got really frustrated. I want to throw in the towel. And when I finally realized that, dang, it's you who has the answers. It's me, right? There's something within me that wants to come out and I need to be able to listen to that. What is that that my heart wants to tell me? Ah, when I share this story, that really helps people. They're like, hmm, if she can do that, maybe I can do that myself, right? And I have really learned that storytelling is more about, yeah, expanding you into the possibilities for yourself and rewriting a new empowering story for yourself. It's not so much about, oh my God, my story is this one way and it has to be the same for everybody, right? And I also have realized that so many times when I felt really inspired and I felt a big quantum leap was often through other people sharing their stories, but in a very authentic way. And this is about stories that come from the heart. You know, it's not about stories that are being told, so I'm going to convince you to buy from me. So you think you're going to make X amount of money or something like that, right? It's really the intention behind. And because that gate 13 comes off, the G center, that also means it comes from my identity, it comes from my heart space. So everything for me in my chart, and this is now also connected, right? Obviously the whole chart tells a story. And right now I wanted to focus a little bit more on the throat center uh, with the 2145 channel, but everything else in the chart is like a story in itself and all these energies, they dance together. And the gate 13 is also always looking for the 33, which is a throat energy. I don't have it defined though in my chart, but the beautiful thing is people in my life, my daughter, for example, she has gate 33 defined and I don't have to look for this, but naturally when I'm around her, I also feel as if I have this entire channel defined, right? And there's nothing that I have to overthink, but the more I have learned these energies, the more... I just allow myself to let whatever wants to come through me to flow out of me. Even like right now, this podcast episode, I didn't write a script. I didn't plan too much. I just trusted that. I feel this like nudge in my heart and my body to talk about this. And then I just let that happen. And the only time when this doesn't work is when I get into my head. Like even right now, literally as I'm speaking, I'm noticing right now, okay, and I'm going to get in my head, what I'm going to keep saying, that's when I, that's when you get stuck. But when I drop into my body and I just look at my chart, that's when things are just naturally flowing out of me. Now, another thing that is also at my throat center is that gate 62. Gate 62 is all about details and 
making things practical and easy. And I have this both in my North Nodes, right? In my conscious and unconscious North Nodes. So it's a very, it's a very strong energy for me. And what I'm doing, actually, I find with human design and also the gene keys is that I make those often perceived very complicated systems very practical and easy for people because I have always received so much feedback that this is very difficult they don't understand it and it actually gets people oftentimes a lot in, into the head and overthink okay how am I going to do this gate five now what am I going to do with this line and it turns into like overthinking instead of actually dropping into the body because human design is all about getting out of the head and into the body and it seems that when I share with people my idea or my interpretation of the gates and the gene keys, something clicks for people. And I love that because for me, it's literally like I'm just here telling a story about a certain gate sometimes, and it helps people finally understand those energies. And I also like to go into the details. So this upcoming masterclass, for example, called Your Authentic Voice in this particular one, we will actually go in very much detail just into the throat center. And if you have it defined or not, it's for everybody. It's for every type. It's for defined, undefined, and open throat centers as well. You're going to learn so much because often you get so much more transformation out of something when you just focus on one thing and you go really deep. So we're going to cover what it means to have a defined throat center, what it means to have an undefined throat center, you're going to get an ebook about all the 11 gates in human design. And also, I will share with you also some more in depth insights, also from the gene keys, because the gene keys, they bring so much richness. So, for example, for me, the gate 62, while I was telling you, it has to do with details and um, making things practical and easy for people. What I have learned from the gene keys as well is that. It's also all about speaking from your heart. It's all about allowing yourself to realize that intelligence is not intellect. Intelligence is always here. It comes from your heart. And that also then plays so beautifully with the my conscious sound, the gate 13, which is all about listening. You know, I'm yes, I'm here to listen to people. And I can tell you also from my coaching sessions, the most powerful coaching sessions is when I listen to my clients. I always ask my clients first to tell me what's going on in their life, what's the story, and then I can respond to that. If I were to go into a coaching session and I just talk, 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 and I don't even take the time to listen, I think the transformation is not going to be that great. And this is an energy I'm here to put out into the world and share with people. Uh, because I think in general, the best coaches are the ones that actually can listen more, right? And this listening is also for me that, and this again, it was the gene keys that really made it click for me, that first and foremost, I have to apply this gift to myself. So I have to learn to listen to myself. Really, the 13 is about listening to my own heart before anything. And this is why for me, I have such a, I don't want to even say hard time because it's not really a hard time. It's more like a realization I have been having that my body is almost allergic to all these opinions and how we should be doing things. I mean, mostly what we see on social media. And at the same time, I love social media. That's how I can connect with you guys. That's how I can market myself in the world. And I, I'm just no longer available for the extremes, if that makes sense. My body literally tells me any time where there's a very rigid viewpoint or opinion out there, this is how you have to do it. This is a new success strategy for 2024. This is what works. I'm like, oh, no, thank you. <laughs> if this is what works, this is already outdated. I am somehow, and maybe some of you guys can relate to this. I have found most of my followers can relate to it a lot. I feel like I'm already somewhere in the future. I don't know if it's 20 years from now or 15 years from now, but I can sense what's going to happen and how the whole industry and humanity as a whole kind of is evolving. And this may sound a little like um, 
yeah, um, like a, a fortune teller, but I'm not. This is more something that, that I, I can feel and sense in my body. And everything that is so much in this like logical way of thinking where we have to do X to get Z, right? Where we have, because we always want to have certainty, right? We humans, we like to have certainty, but the reality is like certainty doesn't exist. Uh, but we we always buy into things that make make us think there is certainty, but then we realize it's not and we're so utterly disappointed. So everything in my chart is about flow. It's about allowing life to show you the way and you just let your body respond. This is also my my purpose gene cue on my unconscious earth in my human design chart is the most feminine energy in the entire chart. It's the most yin energy. It's all about receiving. It's about synchronicities and going with the flow. And if you're going to ask me, okay, Annalena, what is your business strategy? I'm going to tell you, well, I stopped listening to what everybody else is telling me. I finally learned to listen to myself. And I do what feels good and I don't do what doesn't feel good. And it's very funny, the people that I attract also into my life, we have these same conversations. I'm like, so I'm starting to realize that it's actually valid because obviously, like I'm also human, right? We, we still question ourselves sometimes. I still get caught up often when I do see people this is the way you have to do it. This is what really works. This is what you have to do to be financially successful. Like I still sometimes catch myself thinking and then, oh, maybe I need to buy this, right? But this year, what I have done in particular, I have actually invested less. I know you will see out there many times people preaching to you, you have to over-invest. You have to invest a lot into yourself money-wise so you can see a return in your business. In my particular case, it has been a little bit the opposite, to be honest. The less I have invested into other people's solutions through paying a lot of money, it kind of always threw me back. It put a lot of stress on me. And when I have invested just very selectively, and I still invest, don't get me wrong. And I sometimes do invest high ticket, but very, very selectively. Um, the more I have chosen to invest in me, because investing doesn't always have to be money. Investing, I think the biggest investment you can make is to make time for yourself and actually find ways and practices to connect to yourself more. And the more I do that, the more success I have in my business. Now, I think that's going to be a gazillion people out there that want to tell you the exact opposite. And maybe that is not the case for everybody. I'm just sharing this because I can no longer deny this. My body is just not even allowing me to do it the old way anymore. And the more conversations I have with people, the more people I connect with and readings and coaching sessions with friends, the more validation I get that apparently I'm not the only one. And also everything that we learn in human design. I, I think I did a whole nother podcast episode about the year 2027. So if you want to go back to that, um, it's all about as humanity, we're shifting away from this logical way of doing things, right? Where everything is causal, where we have the logic of, again, I do a certain thing to get a certain outcome. And we're moving into this era of flirting with the universe and the unknown and letting life surprise us. So when you work with me as your coach, as your guide, as your mentor, however you want to call this, we're going to create miracles. We're going to create magic. And I know this may be not as specific as some people want it to be, but I take you into new realms of possibilities. It's not going to be boring. It's not going to be the exact thing that you think you need or want, what if what life has in store for you is way bigger? So I'm all here for the new possibilities, for the surprises. And I want to guide you into that. And I really find that when you have the courage to really speak your authentic voice, and then you naturally attract the people that are really aligned for you, right? And this is not a guarantee for you to make seven figures in a year. You know, for some people that's super aligned, for other ones it's not. 
I think this whole money conversation is really missing the point. When even when we're using human design to tell people like, oh, just use your human design to make X amount of money. That to me is wrong because if that's meant for you, it's gonna happen anyways. Right. And some people are the happiest making 70K a year. They're living the most happy, blissful life. And other people, they're happily man managing millions. And others could care less about it. And so it's also a little bit about letting go of the ego and what the ego thinks it wants. It's more so about really aligning with your unique soul path where everything flows. It's more effortless. You have all these synchronicities showing up and you just know you're on the right path. It's like you're swimming with the flow of the river instead of against it. That's what I find happens when you follow human design. The money and all the other stuff, the materialistic stuff, there will just be a, a byproduct of that. And I believe we are all have the birthright to have an abundant life also materialistically, but not in a way that it becomes wasteful and not in a way that we use money as a crutch to not feel our fears to give us a false sense of security. I think that only works temporarily for us and eventually falls apart. And I also feel like that the people that are most successful, that I personally, me and Alina, that I consider most successful are the ones that really don't need to talk about how much money they make. You know, one person that comes to my mind is like Deepak Chopra. He's probably very financially successful. He doesn't talk about, I'm going to show you how to make five, six, seven, eight figures or whatever. So, yeah. And everything, so kind of what I'm sharing here with you, I want you to just feel into this without agenda. I'm talking here. This is all the essence of my 2145 channel, this whole podcast episode, you know, and then going into the details and stuff. And I'm not overthinking it. This is just who I am. I'm just letting myself talk in some way. And I had to, in my life at least, like human design in some way was necessary for me. So I was like, I say, I, it found me because I was suppressing this part of me way too much. I would never have the courage to talk about money like this. You know, I would be like, oh, all these people are going to get mad at me and they're going to tell me like, whoa, just because you don't have a million dollar, like you're just jealous or whatever. I mean, I don't know. But now I feel so comfortable to talk how I feel about money and I'm so passionate about it and I'm so passionate about helping people feel more calm and relaxed about money and especially through finding their own voice so that you do the thing that feels naturally to you and the thing is also like you could also have a money channel just like me and nothing else in your human design chart defined to your throat and it would still play out differently for you ultimately it's all about trusting yourself and so this is what I want also to accomplish or what my intention is for this upcoming workshop, Your Authentic Voice, is that you can literally relax and finally start surrendering into the voice that is naturally there. There, there will be things that you know you want to say, but you don't have the courage to say. So we're also going to work a little bit on what is holding us back, the whole conditioning one fear in particular that is holding most back, especially highly sensitive introverts and empath is because this fear of rejection. You don't say things because you're so scared somebody's gonna disagree with you. But what happens, and this is also another podcast episode I did a while ago, I talked about this whole thing about fear of rejection. And what happens is when we are suppressing our truth, because we are afraid that other people will reject us. What we're really doing is we're rejecting ourselves. And I want to help you stop doing that. I want to help you fully own who you are. And then from this place, allow yourself to magnetize the right kind of people for you. The people that really resonate with you. Because there's only one person like you in this world. And you have a message to share. And you will be surprised of how many people are going to be there that have been just waiting for you to finally speak your truth. And so maybe this masterclass or workshop is going to be this first spark for you 
where you just finally feel like you can take off, where you get out of this inertia, you finally start to catch some momentum where you little by little, once a bit at a time, you keep practicing speaking your authentic truth and you're going to experiment with this because after all, human design is an experiment, right? And I'm also really, really excited because I'm going to bring in also the elements and main messages from all these jinkies, like all these 11 gates, right, that we have on the throat center. We can also look up those jinkies and that is just so juicy, I have found, and it brings so much clarity, so much affirmation, and most likely you're going to be like, okay, I can finally trust myself, I'm just going to do this now, I'm going to stop holding back, because I really feel that the world is ready for more authenticity, and the world is also tired of so much fake and the same message left and right and everywhere. We need more people that break free from, from this conditioning and trying to fit in. And this is why for me, human design and the jinkas are so expansive because it shows you those energies that are very dominant for you. And when you can allow yourself to fully lean into them, that's when so much magic can be unlocked that again, probably your mind cannot even comprehend of what beautiful things can come from that. And that's also the beauty for me in my business right now. We are heading towards the end of 2023 and 2024 is just around the corner. If you ask me what my plan is for 2024, well, I have a couple of ideas, but as you know, I'm also a manifesting generator, Gemini moon. I change my mind on the fly sometimes. So my actually intention for 2024 is the word embodiment to be even more grounded in my body and even lead my clients into the next level of embodiment, you know, where we're getting even more out of the head, even more into the body and letting our body guide us to what's the right decisions for us and the right actions for us to take. So my business strategy is trusting my intuition and let life surprise me and be open to receive what's aligned for me. So may this inspire you as well. And Again, you're also invited to join me and many others for the Your Authentic Voice workshop. Um, I'm going to put all the details in the show notes and you can also get in for a very affordable price as well. That's always something that I want to make these things available for people. So it's not kind of a, a barrier for you to come join us. And you can obviously expect miracles from it. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me on Instagram or via my email. Again, it's all going to be in the show notes. And I thank you for listening, for having a peek at my charts and letting me talk whatever was on my mind and may it inspire you to do the same. So this was it for today. And as always, I'm very excited to be with you all on the next episode.